and you can see there is the shelter island point that I put on there ready for me and if I go this way a little bit there's that other Saddle Island Point. What's up everybody? Hey, Brian Sefty here, AZ Kayak Fisherman, and I wanted to do a pre-fishing tips video, and the topic today is going to be on converting Google Earth place marks to Lowrance waypoints. Um, long story short, basically using Google Earth, you can kind of do some pre-fishing, you can look at historical images of the lake and the area that you're planning on fishing, and you can place place marks within Google Earth. However, in order to get them to your Lowrance unit, uh, you need to convert them to a Lowrance USR file. Uh, so some of the tools uh, that we're going to use today, uh, they're pretty much all free. Google Earth, of course, we're going to use. Uh, GPS Babel, I think that's how you say it, is again a free tool, open source. Uh, you can download it, uh, install it, and in this case, install it on my Windows uh, 10 machine. And of course, you're going to need an SD card, um, some sort of SD card, SD card reader to, you know, once you have that converted uh, Lowrance USR file, you're going to want to move that from your PC or your computer or your MacBook or what have you to um, your Lowrance unit. So you're going to plug that in your Lowrance unit, you're going to load it up, and then you're going to import it into the, to the unit. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to open up Google Earth. And once Google Earth loads here, I am going to, let's say, we're going to go to... Roosevelt Lake Marina, that's fine. Roosevelt, Arizona, search sounds good. Let that thing uh, zoom in here. Get rid of this. Boom, okay, so it took us to the marina. I am going to back out a little bit and I'm going to center up Windy Hill. Everybody should be familiar with Windy Hill here. We got Salome Cove across from it. Boat ramp here. Let um, me zoom in a little bit. Boat ramp here. You got a little shelter island right here. Saddle island over here. That's not really an island at this point. But first thing I want to show you is uh, in, within Google Earth, you can look at historical images. So you want to turn this on or, or off, maybe uh, depending on what you want to do here. But I'm going to go ahead and turn on show historical images. So right now it looks like it's showing me an image from, uh, looks like May of 2017. And I'm gonna go back in time. And there's February 2017. And there's February 2016. And as you can see, there's a big difference a year ago uh, from the water level. The water level was a lot lower than it is today. So I'm gonna quickly jump from February of 2016 to 2017 and if you watch especially this area right here, you'll notice that um, there's land and then now today there's actually water covering the land. So there may be some places right there that you want to fish. Let's say uh, this point right here or maybe this point or this little point. Because in the right now, if you look at those, they're pretty much covered, covered in water. Alright, so let's go back to uh, February 2016 and let's make some points. So the first thing I want to do is I want to create a folder. So I'm going to right click my places and I'm going to say add folder. And I'm just going to call this folder Roosevelt. You can name it whatever you want. And it automatically puts you in that folder. Now the second toolbar icon I'm going to use, I'm going to add a place mark. So let's pretend we want to fish this little point right here looks interesting I like it it's kind of maybe maybe out in front of a maybe it's a secondary point out in front of maybe a possible spawning ground I want to put a place mark there so I'm gonna click the little yellow place mark on the toolbox scoop this out of the way 
grab this thumb pin and I'm going to put it right on the edge of that point and let's say we'll call it saddle island point hit OK OK we got a place mark there alright let's pick another one let's say this this point right here again we take the thumb tack put it right on the edge of that point and we'll call this one shelter island point okay alright so we got a couple place marks if you notice uh, if you look at the properties of these they are they, they have the latitude and longitude so the GPS uh, however uh, <clears throat> the default in Google Earth is a little bit different than the default format in Lorenz uh, so that's why we're going to convert them. All right. So let's say you you put all your points and they're in your folder, and you want to uh, basically at this point you want to export them. So how do you do that? So basically right click your Roosevelt folder or whatever you called it, and we're going to do save place as. And they're going to give you two choices. You can either save it as a KMZ file. In this case, we want to save it as a KML and we'll just, I'm just going to leave it as Roosevelt. Looks like I already have a few here. Uh, so I'm going to save this as Roosevelt KML. And uh, now that I have that saved file, I'm going to go ahead and open up GPS Babel. So I'm going to open up GPS Babel here. And I'm going to make sure the format for the input is the Google Earth keyhole markup language file, which I've already have selected. And the output format that I want is the Lawrence USR. So that's in the drop down. There's all kinds. There's Hummingbird. Um, so depending on your make and model, you may be able to use that for your, your other style. So I'm going to go ahead and pick Lawrence since I have a Lawrence unit. And I'm going to go find the file that uh, I just exported. So right here, Roosevelt. KML and I'm going to give the output file name something so we'll call it again Roosevelt USR sure so now we have we have our input file which we're going to convert from and we have the Roosevelt USR file that we're going to convert to and you notice on the translation options, you may have some, uh, in this case, we just, I just want to do waypoints. So that's all I have selected. Uh, by default, some of these other ones may be selected. And you can turn those off, tracks and routes, which you can do in here as well, which is another uh, cool topic. Uh, there's some other options that you can uh, play with, uh, write version, etc. I'm not, uh, I haven't, uh, this has been working for me, so I'm not going to mess with it, but there's a, there's definitely different uh, versions that, uh, depending on your unit, may need. But at this point, we're ready to convert. So go ahead and uh, hit OK. And it ran, and it's basically telling me translation successful. So it has created this file, so that's great. All right. So now we need to get our SD card and pull... the Roosevelt, or I'm sorry, in my Lawrence folder here, the Roosevelt, or right here, Roosevelt USR file. We need to extract that, put that on an SD card, and then go out to our Lawrence unit. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so we got the uh, Lawrence unit booted up here. Um, I went ahead and stopped the, the sonar for the 2D and, and down imaging. Now what I'm going to do is take the card out, the Navionics card that I have in here. This is my current mapping card. And I'm going to put in the little micro SD card. It may be a SD card for your unit, just depends on the model. Into this guy here if I can put it in the right way are they making these things smaller and smaller ok 
Okay, got that inserted. Go to the main menu. Oops. Oh, keeps clicking on things I don't want. Files. Okay. Memory card. Roosevelt USR. See, there is the USR file that we created with GPS Babel. So I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And you got four choices basically copy, rename, delete, or import. I'm going to go ahead and select import. Are you sure you want to import this? Yes. Import complete. Great. All right. Now we're going to go to our chart. Actually, what I should do here is give you a better representation is to put my Navionics card back in. That way the lakes will look correct. Got that inserted. It looks like it changed to the Navionics. It did. Okay, excellent. All right. So, oops. I don't want to do that. I'm going to zoom out. And as you can see, we're in Phoenix, Saguaro Lake. Alright, so we're gonna go over to Roosevelt. We're gonna zoom in. Here's Windy Hill. Keep zooming here. And you can see there is the shelter island point that I put on there ready for me. And if I go this way a little bit, there's that other saddle island point. And as you can see on this map, it doesn't really look like it did on Google Earth because sometimes the Navionics map, the Navionics charting, isn't as accurate as you think it is. Uh, so it varies it, it you know definitely de it depends so but there you go folks we got our saddle island point and we got our shelter island point there's the boat ramp oops too far do, 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 do. get back to Roosevelt Lake here so there you go, there's Windy Hill, the boat ramps, there's our point there and our point there. So there you go, that's how you successfully make place marks in Google Earth, export them, translate them into Lawrence USR files, and then import them into a Lawrence unit for use on your GPS screen. So, Thanks for watching. I hope you uh, learned something useful. Uh, I think it is a something that could be used for uh, kind of pre-fishing if you can get some good points. So, hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the like button, subscribe button, and uh, let me know what you think. And if there's other things that you want me to cover, appreciate it. Thank you.